Next on If you get up off your butt and rotate your antenna, if your cable is screwed up, and if the air is full of electricity, then somewhere between channels 36 and 37, you'll come upon a TV universe turned inside out. The tour's leaving now, so grease yourself up, strap yourself in, hide all pets, Take small bites, use a number two pencil, ignore the squishy sounds, breathe through your mouth, and have your tickets ready. You've entered the world of hardcore TV. They're slugging it out in the middle of the ring. There's a hard right to the jaw. And Balin Butch's block is knocked off. Her block is knocked off? Sure, but you can press it back on again. It's all part of the action with the world's only boxing lesbians. They're rock'em, sock'em lesbians. By Mark, you get the tough as nails battling Butch. With combat boots and plaid shirt. And lipstick Lisa. She looks like my teacher. With these control levers, your rock'em, sock'em lesbians can battle all day. Press one button and Butch throws a mean uppercut. But look out, lipstick Lisa's knocked her block off. Wow, this is great. The world's only boxing lesbians, the Rock'em Sock'em Lesbians, by Mark. And they're battling it out in the middle of the ring, and a right, and a left, yes! Oh, hi. And welcome to the world of hardcore TV. You know, that's, that's a great toy that the whole family can enjoy. See, what we're trying to do here is have a toy business of inclusion. You know, I, I bet you those babies could really kick the crap out of the X-Men. Anyway, we're always trying to find ways to spice things up. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to try something new. We're going to have a co-host for our tour. So please welcome her now, our brand new co-host, Penny. Hi. Hi. I really want to welcome you. This is such a nice addition to our tour. <laughs> now, now I know you were Miss Allentown, right? Okay, this is exciting. You're, you're happy to be here, right? Oh, yeah. Great, because I am just thrilled. <laughs> okay, uh, do you know when we get paid? Uh, no, no, I'm not really sure. Chevy Chase shaves his own genitals to get a laugh will not be seen in order to bring you this other thing. And now, fairy tales from the dark side. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to visit with a little friend who always seems to be popping up everywhere. His name is Dildo. Hi, friends. My name is Dildo. I'm leaving for a big adventure in the city. Please join me as I jump from place to place. I've got my friends with me, too. Butch and Bill, the biker twins, Candida, the dominatrix, and Larry, the foot fetish fiend. I also have everything else I need. A box of flavored glow-in-the-dark condoms, too. When I was in town, I saw tons of fun and interesting things. A tall, thin man in a trench coat yelling, Check it out! Peep show for only 25 cents! And a fat man yelling, All nude review! I saw a policeman beat a motorist and a carjacking, too. I even saw a man dressed as a woman kissing a truck driver. Yuck! Can you find me? Love, Dildo. Okay, Dildo watches, it's another day. Gosh, oh golly, the supermarket was fantastic today. I saw a woman shoplifting Pop-Tarts by sticking them in her bra, and there was this man exposing his penis in the frozen food section, although it was pretty cold, so you couldn't see much. There was a cashier fucking the manager in the parking lot in the back of his van, and a stock boy stealing cash from the register, and dried apricots were on sale for 59 cents. Fantastic. Can you find me in here? Love, Dildo. Now that you know where he is, whether you're a man or a woman, you can put him in lots of fun and interesting places. Wow. Join us next time when we tell the tale of the bunny, the fish, and the magic turd. The bombs are homemade. The pocket tees are by the terrorist gap. Has this ever happened to you? Or this? Or this? Or this?
Now there's help for pesky stains with new Super Dry Miracle Paste. Let's make a real test. Battery acid, motor oil, toxic waste, and chocolate. Super Dry Miracle Paste tackles them all, even the toughest stains. Ferret urine, moose bile, sheep bladder secretions, molten lava, and of course, chocolate. Concentrate just a little Super Dry Miracle Paste on a toothbrush and goodbye moose bile. So long, ferret urine. And chocolate, au revoir. Now flip the brush over and it's a powerful acne cream. Super Dry Miracle Paste is available for not $29.99, not $49.99, but $69.99. Order two and pay only twice as much. If you're not completely satisfied, if Super Dry Miracle Paste doesn't work for you as advertised, we'll refund your money. Offer void where prohibited. Subject to applicable law. Not available in certain states. Good only for travel between Friday and Monday. Weekend stay mandatory. Member FDIC. Tax and destination charges extra. Offer may vary. Check local listings. No fucking way you're getting your money back. Say, let's see if this stuff really works. Wow, this really is a miracle. Hey, Penny, you want to try some? <laughs> no, not really. This is Lisa's Love Scope. And Torrens, the planetary aspects of Mars are spotted on the 16th, and that means that's not the only thing that's spotted. Your neighbor, Filippo, has a spot too on his upper lip, which you won't think nothing about. Till your friend Linda, who lives upstairs from him, all of a sudden develops one in the same place on the 22nd. But who are you to judge? Except in this case, she has two babies and a husband, Letty, who's devoted to her. Shame on you, girl. I'm not throwing stones. But the Bible tells us, don't cover thy neighbor's common law husband. Cancer. Your cash card at the bank will fuck up on the 10 as the moon resides in your fifth house. But if you can't get some cash, you won't reside in your house. And the machine eats your card and says invalid pin number. So you go to the asshole teller who looks at you like you fucking Amy Fisher or something and says there's nothing she can do. So you say, let me tell you something, bitch. I want my money, because it's not my fault. You got your head up, your culo, because I got mouths to feed at home. So she calls the manager who strains it out after an hour, somewhere around the 11th or 12th of this month. This is Lisa. Remember, you go far if you believe in the stars. Ciao. Uh, hi. I was in the Super Dry Miracle Paste commercial. I just think you're really cute. Get the fuck out of here. You're tracking mud all over the place. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Get out, get I'm out, sorry, get sorry. out. Sorry. Puñeta. Fucking people coming on my show like that. Now, all the fairy tales you love are available anytime over the phone with this new 900 line. To hear two elves make it with a milkmaid, press one. To hear the ogre with emphysema, press two. To hear the fisherman who loved his squid too much, press three. And to hear the giant with no buttocks, press four. $3.95 for the first minute, $2 each additional minute. There sits a desirable female, coy, shy, yet burning with passion. Here comes the male, ready to copulate. Or is he? One might expect hours of wild lovemaking, but let's look more closely. Does he stroke her hair? Does he caress her bosom? Remarkably not. And therein lies the paradox. I'm Sir Richard David Burrow, and this is National Pornographic Explorer. Let's take another look. Why aren't they doing the nasty? The male, while obviously aroused, focuses the object of his sexual frenzy on the female's shoe. He touches it, he caresses it, he smells it, he licks it, but it doesn't stop there. It could be slippers, sneakers, stockings, tennis shoes, and of course, the ubiquitous steel-tipped boot. And in certain instances, he may insert several heels, tips, etc., in various different portions of his anatomy where the sun has never shined. He is, of course, a fetishist. But the world of fetishes...